back to round two. I walked a long ways, did a lot of, uh, I was at the disc golf course, finally made it down there, and uh, so I'm a little on the tired side, so catch in a little bit. <coughs> You know, I was in the hood back when we were all using and the meth users and the heroin users are right next to each other, right? And so are the prostitutes and, you know, all the bar people and, you know how it goes. All right, the game, right? Uh, Thor had a very specific job in the game make mistakes along the way, mind you none, but I had a certain job in the game. So when this girl Christina, uh, who was um, prostitute, working the circuit at, at Six and Blair all the time, and the heroin and meth, and we all knew Christina wasn't going to live past 30, right? And uh, so uh, I'm walking through the parking lot one day, right? And I see her go by, right? I remember that, like, she'd go out and do her work like normal, like, like a normal human being a prostitute. And then she'd get high. And then she'd talk to all these little voices in her head. And she'd be, like, real happy and giggly. And, like, the girl was in a real, real, real bad place. I mean, it's hard to even describe it because I'm not in her shoes, right? I was a person who was next to her. And I was also the person who... Like, I'm not like a you know, great Christian or nothing, right? <laughs> Seriously. But still, I have a connection with my higher power, and at least through that, I'm able to give answers sometimes. So this girl asked me an answer. Asked me for an answer that she wouldn't question anybody else for. You know, and she goes, Thor, 
can just stop me, right? Thor, and she had this look on her face like, I ain't got much time left, you know? And she goes, Thor, how do you get into heaven? And I, I looked at her and smiled and said, just ask, you know? So those are the, those are the people I'm fighting for. She was dead two months later, all right? I'm fighting for the people who got, who are going to be in jails, institutions, and prisons, and out of it for the rest of their life. Who are going to be ghetto their whole life, you know? So, you know, if I don't rise completely out of this ghetto, and then start bringing my brothers and sisters with me, I might as well just finish the job, man. Hear me? Because I ain't going out like that. <laughs> going out like this. Feel me? Happy Fourth America. I might barbecue early because I think well, somebody else wants to use the barbecue. What'd you do to your wrist, Chris?